Hello friends, in this chapter, first chapter of introduction of operations research, we are going to learn about the introductions to the operations research, the concept of operations research and some of the applications of operations research. So let's start with this chapter. <clears throat> so what will you learn today from this chapter or from this slides? So first of all, you will try to learn about the concept of operations research. Secondly, you will try to learn about the history of the operations research. So how did operations research originate from? Who were the um, scientists and mathematicians who worked towards the operations research field? Then we will look into the characteristics of operations research. What are the phases? What are the characteristics of operations research? And finally, we will look into some of the scope and applications of operations research. So in this session, we are going to see all of these one by one. So let's start. <coughs> So what is operations research? Operations research is a field whenever you are using the tools and techniques of scientific principles, you are using the principles of science, right? You will apply them into a system. A system can be in an industry, right? Industry scenario, a public sector companies or private sector companies. Or whenever you are you know, using these tools and techniques, right, based on scientific principles to find the optimum solution have problems you will convert them into mathematical model right and then when you solve these models mathematical models you will arrive at the optimum solutions so what is the aim of or what you can see the objective of operations research it tries to optimize the solution right whatever solutions you get you will get the optimum solution with the help of operations research so here in the framework if you see here the conceptual model whatever the practical life problems are there they are converted into mathematical model it becomes conceptual modeling techniques with the help of scientific principles then they are solved and we get the optimum solutions this does not it's not necessary that you will always get the optimum solution but all the tools and techniques try try operations research and tools and techniques they try on this um, getting to the optimum solution once you get the optimum solution Implementing the system and then this cycles continues so for the continuous increment of this modeling and implementation techniques, right? So that is all about the operations research, right? What is next? The next is we will look into the history of operations research. Where does this thing start, right? So it's, it is a wartime mainly, you can see, right? During World War II, the scientists, specifically Black and Circus, was started in UK around World War II. What they wanted to do was they wanted to <coughs> allocate research resources in an efficient manner. Right? Now here if you see they called in large number of scientists, a group of scientists, mathematicians, physicists to work on the military operations and they tried to develop the effective method to locate the radar techniques. Now this radar technology developed in Britain only right? during World War II. And they tried to intercept the aircraft from Germany. Right? In these scenarios, they effectively used operations research techniques. From there, operations research started. And slowly and steadily, during the 50s, it came into the <coughs> industry scenarios. So, this is all about the history. So, in next, we will look into the in India. Where, where did it all start? In India, it started in the 50s. P.C. Mahalonavis, who is the Inventor, or you can say the, the person who was behind this operations research society in India. The headquarters are in Kolkata right now, right? <coughs> it, he also uh, used these techniques in Panchoshi Youth. Now you can share the national plans, development plans, extensively used in this uh, public sector as well. These techniques. So from there in 50s, it started with the help of PC Mahalon Police. And he is also considered to be the father of Indian statistics. Now, what are the characteristics of operations research? Let's see one by one. So, first is <coughs> it is systems approach. It works on the system. Why systems approach? You can say the system is nothing but interconnected and interdependent entities. So, whenever you take about any problems, you look into the systems approach. You will see all the interconnected and interdependent entities. 
So professionals research specifically look into the systems. Second is you will also find out as a scientific approach. Already saw in the definition that it depends upon the scientific principles. Tools and techniques which are derived from professionals research they are purely based on scientific principles, right? It is not like qualitative approach, it is purely quantitative approach. You convert those models, modeling, convert those models into mathematical modeling and then you solve these models. Okay. Next is, it is interdisciplinary, yes. Before you see in the history session, physicists, mathematicians, they all were scientists, they all were involved in this field, operations research, right? Again, it is interdisciplinary, it means that it is also a part of management, is also a part of production, right? Or you can say the physis physicist, right? The managers, workers, they all from different disciplines, let's say from biology uh, as well, they all integrate or you can say <coughs> work closely to arrive at the solution. So it is not like a single discipline approach, it is multidisciplinary or interdisciplinary, they work inter interconnected. To arrive at the solution. Next is it is using computers. See nowadays we have powerful computers available so that you can easily solve the complex problems involving multiple variables, thousands of variables are involved in today's complex problems. So with the help of computers, you can easily arrive at a solution, an like optimum solution for the operations research. So computers definitely one of the characteristics of operations research is it extensively this tools specifically computers for the processing power or you can see the computation, complex computations. Next you have <coughs> models or you can say building. Mathematical model building is one of the characteristics of operational research. So all the practical life problems we will see in day to day scenarios, they are converted into mathematical models for easy calculations. Right? And finally you will see that human factors also involved. It is again the quantitative factors we also look into detail but management factors like subjective factors also are involved right decisions making is also involved and that is why it is one of the characteristics of operations research. Qualitative and quantitative factors both are involved in the characters, character, one of the characteristics of operations research. Now let's look into the phases of operations research. One of the important topic in terms of exams, so you have to carefully look into these all different phases. How do you apply the operations research methodological, right, one by one? So let's look into the phases of operations research. So first of all, if you see here, what is the first problem here? First step is you will formulate the problem. Right, whatever problem is there, you try to convert into the mathematical model. How do you do that? We will find out what are the variables in this problem. Some of them are controlled, some of them are uncontrolled, right? So you will, first of all, you will try to formulate, right? You, whatever problem you have, you will have, you will try to convert into a problem which can be easily controlled. You will separate out controlled and uncontrolled variables. The variables which you can control and which you cannot control. Now, second step is, or you can say the second phase is model building. Based on this problem, formulation of problem, you will convert it into a mathematical model, right? Now, model will consist of variables, objective, function, the function which you want to achieve, the objective which you want to achieve in quantitative factors. You will have constraints as well, constraints or in the sense limitations. Whatever the scenario you have, you will have limitations on that, right? And variables, different variables, pieces and variables you will have. All these things are defined in the model building. That is the second phase. What about the third phase? Third phase is the acquiring data. Whatever data, you will collect the data from whatever the problem environment is there, you will try to collect as much of data, right, for the model calculations. Whatever model you have built, you will collect the data around it, right, and then you will try to solve this problem with the help of the computers. Nowadays, they are solved with the help of computers. <coughs> Now, what is the fourth phase? Fourth phase is the solution of the model. Now, whatever, there are hundreds of techniques, tools and techniques under the umbrella of operations research. So, 
So you will find out this suitable OR technique, operations research technique, and then you will apply it to the problem, right? Whatever model you have built, you will apply these uh, techniques into this model, and then you will find out the solutions. It does not guarantee that you will get the optimum solutions always, always. But better solutions is definitely necessary for the problems solution, right? Then, what is the next phase? The next phase is the fifth phase is model testing. Once you have arrived at these solutions, you will try to test, you will validate the model, right? In day to day, uh, you implement that. You will try to test that prototype. But as in engineering processes, you try to test, or you can see the validating of the models. In the same way here, whatever the mathematical model, the solutions you have, you will try to test it whether it is correct or not, right? And then finally, in the sixth phase, right, you will implement. And then once after implementing, you will also try to control the variables, right? If they are in control or not, if they are out of control, you will monitor them, right? But before that, you will try to implement once you have arrived at the consistent solutions, you will use that into the day to day scenario. And but there, this is not the end of the case. You will try to improve upon this phases as well, improve upon the solution as well. So that completes the cycle of operations research phases, or you can say the methodology phases. Here, yeah, one of the most important topics you have to remember clear. Yeah. Now, what is the scope of operations research? What do you mean by scope? Scope is nothing but the boundary of applications where the operations research can be. Like, so let's see one by one. So first of all, you will see agriculture areas. You will say for the land allocations, water allocation, or you can say water distributions, irrigation optimizations. For all these facilities, you will look into the operations research. That is this area of application for the operations research. Second is finance, profit maximization, which is the core objective of each individual or business entity. Right. Second is resource locations is also their replacement policies are allocated the companies like the replacement of the staff employees or you can see equipment as well for all these processes you will look into operations research techniques next is <coughs> defense yes it all started with defense on the dire problems the locations of resources all these problems involved operations research techniques right you get arrive at a solution with the help of this operations research this is one of the most important area of applications for the operations research. What about the next one? The next is marketing, distributions, right? advertising, allocations of this marketing resources. All of these areas are also dedicated to operations research techniques only. These techniques are applied into marketing, advertising, allocating the resources for marketing. You will get at the optimum solutions of where the company should invest in advertising or you can say what are the different types of media you will solve some of the examples based on this <coughs> next scope is production management definitely for inventory management right replacement we already have seen scheduling routing all these areas of production are definitely using uh, operations research techniques extensively and variety they get very good solution, optimum solution for getting the inventory, the stock into the company to distribute the resources, right? The transportation as well at a minimum cost, at shortest possible time, as well as the shortest possible route. And finally, you will see the HR management, hiring and firing of the staff, right? Evaluation, continuous evaluation of the employees. The, or you can see the promotions of some of the employees for, based upon their performance. Based on this uh, criteria, you can use specific tools and techniques of operations research and you can get the solution. So this is mostly you can see these varied applications of operations research. You can, extend, you can use in each and every field of operations research or you can say of practical life in industries as well in marketing, in business entities or in defense, in public sector, private sector, all the industries, they use operations research techniques. So what are the applications? Let's start with the project management, right? Project management, civil engineering projects, right? 
like let's say for example the current one the mega project they all use operations research then you have the marketing as we already have seen right then we have the logistic supply chain management the extensively use operations research then you have decision theory inventory management right communication and water management queuing management in banking right you might have seen passport seva kendra they have long queues before around 5 to 6 years ago they were long queues, but they have effectively managed with the help of data consultancy services where they use this queuing management techniques right this is in theories for management science operations research the second name is management science only or you can say this is in science right agricultural at for better water management irrigation management and finally facility planning plant location layout for all these scenarios you can use tools and techniques of operations research right <coughs> so in this way what we have learned today in this lecture we have learned about the concept of operations research right what operations research is right different day to day operations for the industry we have the company will look into the research area research area in the sense they will look into the solutions of the problems right to methodology that methodology is based on scientific principles so that is operations research we also look into phases of operations research different phases history and origin of operations research applications varied applications of operations research in different sectors banking public sector private sector agriculture right in defense as well so in short operations research is applied in day to day life in each and every field and that is why it is multidisciplinary subject it means that you will learn this subject in commerce field as well in management right in engineering in computer engineering in electrical engineering even mechanical engineering right civil engineering as well so this subject is multidisciplinary subject right that is why because definitely the applications are varied you can see the applications everywhere in each and every field that is why it is one of the important subject so that is first chapter it is dedicated to the concept of introduction concept of operations research introduction origins where it originated what are the characteristics and phases of operations research scope and applications of operations research so in next lecture we will look into some of the new chapter called queuing theory till then thank you